back to the season where the deer are noisy. I think it's called raw season. I feel like I've been able to tune them out a bit more this year. Maybe getting a bit more used to the novelty of being here. And it was cold this morning. Reese decided he was awake at 6am and we really need heat working in the cabin. So what's wrong with our diesel heater? Well, a month ago I turned it on, walked away, thinking the cabin would be nice and warm when I came back. And it was very smoky and smelt very chemical and just wrong and the, the smell hung around for ages. And then this task to look into what was wrong just got pushed back on our to-do list and pushed back and pushed back until this morning. It was cold enough that I wanted to start having a decent look. Hayden went to work at the crack of dawn so I thought I'd at least start undoing all the screws and bolts having a look see if mice had actually been living in it maybe that was the reason took off the red lid there's a few droppings at the base but it, it looks okay it's it's it looked like the mice were more around the casing rather than in it and i turned it on and it, the exhaust was super smoky so i think that's a problem I'm now going to Google what causes that and hopefully it's an easy solution. And then I watched a hilarious video where a guy had white smoke coming out of his exhaust. He dismantled the whole thing, didn't see any problems, put it back together again and it worked fine. So the next stage I think is undoing this bolt and then hopefully this part comes out. doesn't seem as easy as I expected so I'm going to stop and get it back to a safe stage. So I really got stuck on the diesel heater so Hayden's taken over the job! An update with the diesel heater. Hayden thought he'd fixed it. We turned it on the next morning when it was very cold and the whole cabin smelt like burnt plastic, it was just not good. So, I'm almost at the point of let's just get a new one because it's getting cold and I just want heat. Hayden has one more idea. So he's bought this, he's thinking now that it's the tape that is smelling like the burnt plastic. So he's gone and bought some fancy metal tape and see if that helps. If that doesn't work, I'm all for getting a new diesel heater for winter. You gotta be warm. And the Chinese diesel heaters are actually a lot cheaper than a year ago, like half the price. And I'm actually away tomorrow for a week. I'm going to see some friends and have some fun and it's gonna be my whole birthday week and just uh, pamper myself basically. I'm looking forward to it. And when I get back, I can deal with the new trees that I bought. Hopefully they're fine. These are all for either privacy or screening plants, all but one. Our neighbours had cut down a lot of their pine trees and burnt the leftover wood for this most impressive display. I'm home, I'm back. I was away for a week and I so needed it. I, I think, yeah, sometimes you just need that change of scene to reset in a way. So, yeah, I'm feeling more like my normal self. It's good. Funnily enough, while I was away, the house build was all go. We're in the process of putting the plans into the council. Like everything, it's just taking a bit longer than I expected. But hopefully this week, we just need to sign a few forms and then, then we're off, I think. But the exciting part was for the piles, we contacted the, the local guy in the area that everyone seems to use. We found out that there was too much of a slope between the back and the front. The highest pile can only be 1.2 meters above ground before you get into 
the more expensive area of requiring bracketing etc. So we got the earthworks movers in again just to level the back and that ended up making it all fine. Hayden also got the diesel heater working. He's completely taken it apart. He'd found two issues. One was that there seemed to be a, a diesel leak somewhere and it was dripping onto the exhaust pipe which was causing a little bit of smoke to come off and it was getting sucked into the cabin. <laughs> Number two, the pipe into the cabin he'd used some tape that wasn't actually heat resistant so it had melted and uh, had that plasticky smell. So he bought some fancy metal and fiberglass heat resistant tape which seems to have worked and he's basically dismantled the whole thing and if there is a future leak it's going to just drip straight on the ground it's not going to be a problem. The funny thing though is there's definitely mice around. Uh, first night back what I could hear was a scratching. I don't know if the mouse was trying to get in or it was trapped in the wall and trying to get out but I set up a trap caught one last night. I think I'll keep setting it up. Now the fun change is the pile of soil that was sitting right by the cabin is slowly being put out by my brother. Oh, it'll be great. It'll be nice to have lawn. And great news, we had a little bit of rain today and then it should rain a lot more later in the week hopefully because our tank is empty. We were given this awning from a lovely lovely lady just down the road thank you so much and they'd color coordinated the rods I found some instructions online that kind of helped a little bit and gave it a go but I got stuck so Hayden's giving it a go and having more success than me <laughs> this awning is actually for a smaller caravan but hopefully hopefully it still works Ah, oh, it's starting to take shape a bit. <laughs> but it would go in there somewhere, but we don't have that bit. Bit for what? Or is it here? We're not sure how this is supposed to connect. There's no obvious spot. So this is temporary because if it gets a bit windy, it's going to. Damage. Damage the caravan? Yeah. Hello. You don't like being ignored. You want some attention. We learned the last time it rained a lot that the rain comes down the newly formed driveway and pools around the sleep out. So I'm going to dig a drainage now. And the rain has finally arrived. Glad we got the awning up in time. <laughs>